<coughs> we're going to draw the structure of D glucose and L glucose. Okay, D is for dexorotary and L for levorotatory. Okay, so let's draw it. So, glucose we are making is a functional group will be aldehyde. Okay, so now we have to count the carbon atoms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we have 6 carbon atoms. Now hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So hydrogen is 12. Oxygen. Oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is D glucose. Okay, so as you see, now what we will do? We will shuffle it. In L groups, what we will do? We will shuffle it. So, what will be the structure? First of all, we have to make the functional group the same, that is CHO. Now, as you can see here, in this, OH is here, we will shuffle it. Okay, let's shuffle. So, this will be H, OH. Okay, then this, this third here is H. Then, what we will do? OH. Interchange it. Okay, very easy. H, OH, H, OH, okay, let measure, let count the carbon atom first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, C6, H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, H is 12, Okay, oxygen let's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oxygen also 6. Okay, so this is L glucose. Okay, so do you find changes? So this is what? So you can see the OH, 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 OH is in the right side. That's why it's called dexorotator, right? Okay. Now you can see the H, H, H is on the maximum right side and OH here you can say it is in left side. That's why it's called lever. Lever means left or dextro means right. Okay. Thank you.